Wow, the DAZN curse strikes again. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work and sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It does help the channel. Appreciate it. Now, the DAZN curse has strike has struck again. Huey Fury has pulled out of his fight. Basically, the night or the morning before the fight. He was supposed to fight. As you guys see, it says Huey Fury has pulled out of his heavyweight fight against Pavel Sauer in Monaco tonight due to illness. So they said he has some type of virus or illness. And... As a result, he's not going to be on the card. This was picked up by Sky Sports, and it was going to be in the U.S. Televi televised by DAZN. Listen, DAZN is going to have to figure out some type of way. This is getting ridiculous, the amount of fight pullouts. Like, I mean, if the man's sick, he's sick. It is what it is. But how many fights has this been? You know, these are people buying tickets and expecting a certain card, and it's never the card it's supposed to be. You had Usyk bicep tear earlier this year. His fight with Carlos Takam pulled out. Usyk was supposed to fight an MMA fighter with power. Turned boxer Tyrone Spong. He failed a drug test. Joshua was supposed to fight against Gerald Miller. He failed a drug test. Billy Joe Saunders was supposed to fight Demetrius Andrade. He failed a drug test. You had Daniel Roman. You had Lawrence Okoli. You had Scott Quigg. He was supposed to be on the Joshua Ruiz card coming up. Injured, injured, injured. You know, it, I mean, how many injuries and pullouts is this? And it's all the last minute. Then you had Zolani Tete was supposed to fight Nonito Donaire. The week of the fight, he, he was supposed to be, you know, showing up for fight week festivities. Pulled out with an injury, you know. Uh, Mirat Gassi was supposed to make his heavyweight debut twice against Joey DeVecco, pulled out, said he was injured. Joseph Parker was supposed to fight Derek Chisora. He got bit by a spider, pulled out, fight got canceled on the Regis Progate Josh Taylor card. This is all DAZN fights. You know, this is all on their card. And I know I'm forgetting some, and I don't want to bore you guys. Just, I mean, I guess I could do this all day. There's just a lot of fights where the fight was supposed to be had. Fowler, Fitzgerald, Brian Rose, you know, it's just a ton of fights that were supposed to be had and then the fight got canceled for one reason or another now add huey fury to this list and the uk in general some of these fights don't even really pertain or like um i guess appeal to the american audiences like i don't even know who pavel sour is but again the zone is a paid subscription app and they're having this let's see what the fans are saying someone said illness huey's out then that's it i'm canceling my subscription See, man dodges every fight. And the other thing is Huey Fury has a, a history of like pulling out for one reason or another. I remember he was supposed to fight Joseph Parker and then it got canceled. And Wilder even made a video called out Joseph Parker. And he said something to the effect of, yeah, the Furies. I remember he posted on Instagram that he said the Furies have a habit of this. Seriously thought, imagining getting a virus when your opponent's last name is Sour. You love to hear it. Huey Fury weighing in a banana. People are making jokes and stuff, but unreal. General Zod's mate. Shades of Ali. Didn't he just lose to Alexander Povetkin too? Whatever matchrooms paid, it's too much. You know, this is just this is just a lot of pullouts. You know, bottom line. <laughs> Any all crazy with these comments. But, you know, it is what it is. The DAZN curse, I just feel like DAZN has to figure out a way around this or have just get a backup for every fight. Because you also have fights like Chavez Jr. when he's dealing with potential, you know, 
the warnings from Nevada and, and Dodge Nevada. It's just this. You can't have a paid app charging people and it's never the product it's supposed to be. Let me know what you guys think. But the DAZN curse strikes again. Fury is out. I don't know what's up with Pavel Sauer, you know, but this has just been a lot of things. I remember Regis Progre, he was unhappy with the World Boxing Super Series, so he pulled out for a minute. Luckily, they were able to resolve it, so we still got to see the finals with Josh Taylor. But it's just a lot of pullouts and randomness and, you know, things like that that have kept these and prevented these fights from happening. Let me know what you guys think of the DAZN curse and Huey Fury. I don't really know much about Pavel Sauer, so I'm assuming his fight might be canceled. Unless on a, you know, the morning of they can get a, a, a replacement opponent. But I mean, who are you going to get in Monaco, a place like Monaco, the morning of or the night, you know, the night before? That's really not that much time to prepare. Let me know what you guys do think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We working. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.